Yo, what up? Uh, back with the video, uh, battery four. This time modulation. Somebody asked for it. So somebody asked for it. I was already planning on making one uh, later on, but I'm gonna do it now because uh, well, somebody requested it in the comment. So if you have something uh, to say in the comment, uh, please leave a comment, and uh, we'll see what I can do. So um, anyway, modulation. Um, first thing you need to look at, forget about this for a moment. It's all going about this here. These are the modulation slots. Um, basically what it does is this side triggers this side. Over here you can do effects or whatever. And over here you can, um, I'll show you, you can choose what it uh, what pulls the trigger on the effects. So like velocity, pitch band, you know, velocity from the thing, and the pitch band, the aftertouch, if you've got a keyboard with the aftertouch, uh, key position, well, I will come back to that in a minute. Your MIDI CC, you can learn uh, your MIDI controller, uh, you know, assign the buttons, uh, the knobs, to control the, the other side. You know, the random uh, bipolar and unbipolar, you can also do it constant uh, with the release velocity. Yeah, anyway, you see it all over here with the LFOs. That's where the LFOs are for, you know, and the envelopes. So um, that's one side. Um, let's start with the pitch band because that's easy to see. Uh, easy to see how it works. Um, and what shall we choose to trigger it? Here we got a whole bunch of things. You know, the effects. You in order to work it. Let it work, you have to go to the effects page and turn on effect of course. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And um, also I made a bunch of other videos, if you haven't seen them, uh, check them out. Uh, anyway, um, let's do uh, a pan, because that's easy to see. Or to hear, I mean, sorry. Yeah, see also of course, the meters. So, let me show you. I hate this, it's always in my way. This uh, short. Anyway, so um, that's normal. Now we're gonna do this in the pitch band. Down is left, up is right. Now you can invert it so that down is right and up is left. So that's something you could do. Uh, another thing. That's why I cut these cells, is to um, expand the key range. Now, we don't, now it's only C5 that triggers this sound. So we're going to change that. And how, how are we going to change that? Uh, is this. Click on that gray dot. And then choose the range you want it to be in. We're going to choose C5 to C4. So hold down C5 and C4 after that. So now they all trigger. Everything within that uh, within that octave is um, is triggering um, is um, triggering that sound. So let's let me show you. That's why that's why you choose um, key position. Um, let's choose tune so you can hear it uh, good. So when I press down now, D5 is high, uh, C5, yeah, and C4 is low. You see? So that's that. Something, of course, you can also do um, the LFO tool. Maybe that's what you want to see you know who I'm talking about <laughs> maybe not you but you yeah <laughs> you know so um let's take a cut off of course we have to go to the effect slots and put 
the filter on. on retrigger so that's when it's it always starts at the same point but actually we don't want that yeah you can because it sounds pretty nice but if you put it off you can it will trigger along the side with the with the dinger so Every time I press now, I hit the key, it's... So I can choose different places where it's, um, where it's triggering that. So you can make a nice little effect or something. It's a bit of puzzling to get the, the right uh, right sounds you like. Let's make it all slow. Oh, it's not. So yeah, that's uh, something you can do. I don't know, I already said it, but you got eight slots, so you can go up to eight uh, different variations. So And if you had, would have a F touch now, that would be easier, because then you only have to change the thing. But we can do a key position, perhaps. Or you can also do just a random, or add another LFO. But let's um, let's do the key position. Add that again, and let's do some. Um, what shall we do? Pitch. Mm. What do we already have? Let's see. Oh, let's just add tune again. Anyway, so that's a bit what the what the modulation slots are. It's basically just uh, for the effects and how it works is everything you choose in here triggers this over there. So um, I don't know what is clear to you, but if you just play a bit with it, you will yeah you will um, you will understand it better. Uh, it's a nice way to manipulate sound sounds and um, yeah I think that's uh, basically it I hope you understand it a bit you know this is for the for the sound to um, change it down you know, the volume this inverts it I think you already said that but okay so um Let's leave it at this, I think. I hope it is a bit clear to you. And if not, uh, just leave a comment and I will get uh, back, at, uh, back at you. Alright. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe, like it if you want. Um, um, do whatever you want. And um, maybe we, uh, you'll see another, uh, another one of my videos. Okay, thanks for watching.